Hi everybody, it is day eight. I'm feeling pretty good today. Um, every now and then I have a headache, but you know what? The big thing that happened to me this morning and I was like, uh-oh, maybe I shouldn't have done this. Was you know how when you wake up in the morning and you want to give it a really good old long stretch? And you stretch your legs out and your toes and everything just that morning. Oh, it's a beautiful day. It's a new day. I'm waking up. Well, it strained my eye. And I felt like, oh, no. Because you squint, you never, you know, I never thought about. I never thought about how I might tighten up or squint my eye uh, when doing things. And the first thing you do in the morning is stretch. Even your dog, if you have a dog or a cat, they do a little downward dog motion and stretch out and get everything, you know, wake it up. Well, yeah, that's what happened this morning. So I was just like, oh my goodness, no, I have to be very careful. So that was one of the things. The other thing is, is that when I woke up, I, I, I had to, you know, take off my eye guard, which is this thing right here. Actually, there's the gauze. I put a little gauze in case my eyes are wet. And um, I have the guard that they gave me after the surgery, and I put tape on it. So I'm going to take the tape off so you can see what this looks like. You probably have seen someone walking around, say, like the Rite Aid or in a store or something like that, with something like this with holes in it. Yeah. Yeah, well, I would have this, and let me show you, and I would take take it, and I would put it over my eye to keep me from poking myself when I'm asleep. So this prevented me from hurting myself. Well, today is the last day I have to cover my eyes, so I'm really excited about, it's just like a, um, a landmark of, of healing um, along the way. So last day for this, I'm really excited about that, but I'm still going to be really, really careful. The, uh, other thing is, is that I, I still can't sleep on my back. So I get a little paranoid about wondering, no, 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 Nadine, don't, don't lay on your back. So I'm laying on my side, trying to be comfortable. So the other thing I wanted to tell you about is, is that the fact that one thing that will live with me for a while is this green band right here. And on the green band, it says nitrous oxide. That's N2O. And that is actually what is in my eye right now. And it's getting smaller and smaller. I can actually see it. Um, crazy and water just moving around. I think I talked about that before, but basically that means I'm grounded. I can't travel. Yes, me, Nadine O, the one who loves to travel, can't fly for about six months because of air pressure. And that air pressure would, you know, mess with the nitrous oxide, get bigger and could cause me to lose my sight. And I don't want that. So, I have to keep this on in case of emergency uh, to let people know in the medical profession or whatever, um, or uh, emergency response that there is a gas bubble in my eye. And, and the technology, it is helping to heal my eye, but it's also very dangerous. So that's just part of the journey of having um, a vitrectomy. And I thought I'd share that aspect of it First, celebration of not having to wear the eye guard off of today, after today. And secondly, I'm tied to this for a while. So if you have any questions about the procedure uh, or how I feel or what I'm doing, please feel free to leave a message and I will get back to you. So until then, happy healing. That's what I'm thinking about. And uh, take care.